Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener here and it's time to give you an update on my pear trees grown from seed. That's right everyone, you heard it. It's time for a pear tree grown from seed update. You recall that I planted these Dnju seeds on July 10th, 2016. So they're about two years old now, 24 months. Figured I'd get you caught up, do a little pruning and show you what I'm looking at as well as show off some of the other pear trees I have in my yard. All right guys, I'm just gonna start you off with a quick look at the least healthiest one. This may be a lost cause. I'm trying to work on this guy. He's got more of that fire blight. Every year he gets it. I try to cut away all the grasses that you saw here last time. I've been watering him, fertilizing him. He's just not doing well, but wanted to be transparent. Wanted to show you the one that's not doing well. Now let's move on to bigger and better things. All right guys, and as you recall, this is my second pear tree grown from seed. We've had to put a little bit of plastic around his base so the bunnies don't get to him. This is the one I put in place of the apple tree that died and you can very clearly see he struggled over here. Um, a lot of this leaf curl is from aphids. I've constantly had to hose them off with uh, soap and water and then regular fresh water before it gets real sunny but he's constantly getting aphids on all his ends but he's doing pretty good. Looks like I need to re-secure him here from the wind. He's about three and a half feet tall. He hasn't grown much since I re-transplanted him over here, but I knew that was going to happen. They always go through a little bit of shock. I'm happy with his uh, production. He has grown, oh, what is that, three inches since I moved him over here? But between the aphids, the transplant shock, the 102 degree days, he's just, you know, kind of in a little bit of a comatose state right now. He'll be fine here in the next couple of weeks when it starts to lighten up or cool up a little bit anyway now that you've seen the first two let's go head over to the other side of the yard and take a look at the big boy all right guys here's the largest of the dnju pear trees grown from seed two years today you can take a look at this guy he has not had a lot of cross branching until the top he is now probably a little over eight feet tall and uh We've got a nice cluster of branching going on right here. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prune him or top him, I guess, if you wanna call it that, probably a little more proper term. I'm gonna to top him right here to promote this branching and this branching and this. Now, these look like fruiting spurs to me, but hard to tell because they're so short. We're gonna go ahead and top him right here today. I say pruning, but it's more like topping because I won't be pruning anything else. You gotta remember, Pear trees like a summer pruning in mid-July, early August, somewhere in that time frame. But you don't want to prune anything that is not at least a third of the way up the branch woody. And this is all green on this branch, green on this branch, green on this branch, green on this branch. Everything is green. Nothing is really woody yet. So it's not ready to prune any of the branches. But he's fallen over because of the wind. He's really tall. I'm not liking the, uh, the way this leader is shaped. I'm really tempted, honestly, to top him down here. But that's a really heavy pruning. That's taking away 50% of the plant, and you don't wanna do that, not in summer pruning. I would hate for this guy to die. So I'm gonna go ahead and top him up here and let him continue to grow the rest of the summer and the fall. And then in winter, late winter, I'll worry about his canopy and if I need to change it up or top him even more. In the meantime, let me go ahead and uh, get this top part chopped off and we'll get another look at him, see how much I took off. All right, everyone, we've got him topped. And like I said, the reason why I topped him up here is because I kind of like the branches that are developing here. And you can see we got a nice clean cut and it's at an angle. You definitely want the water to run off that. Maybe we can promote some of these other nodes to start forming some side shoots. This guy's got a little bit of fire blight as well. So I'm gonna just peel off a couple of these uh, leaves that we don't want. The ones that are ugly. Don't need them worrying about those anymore. And um, yeah, took off quite a bit. I went ahead and stripped the leaves on the bottom as well as any problem leaves on top. I may try to propagate this guy. I'm not quite sure yet. We don't know what this pear tree is really gonna be yet or if it'll even flower and fruit. So this might just be an experiment for myself. I'll let you know in future updates if I've done anything with this. But it's a good day. We've got a storm rolling in for tomorrow morning. So it's gonna be a little more overcast 
and that's a good time to either transplant, plant things, or top or prune. So anyway, wanted to give you a look at them. 24 months grown from seed. This is a Dianju pear, or at least that's what the seeds were. We don't know what we're gonna get. While I have you here, let's take a look at a few of my other pear trees. This is my Bartlett pear tree that I heavily pruned last year because it had a disease and got no flowers or any fruit this year, of course, because of how I had to cut them in half. You'll recall in a previous video, I literally chopped this guy in half. Let me go ahead and show you. See, I topped him in half right there. I'll take you for a closer look. And he grew all those side shoots out with these prongs, and that's what he's done. So I'll be doing a heavy pruning here in about two weeks. And the reason why I'm delaying this one is we've got a bird with its baby in here, and I just don't want to upset her. So once she moves out, then I'll get this done and we'll get that uh, pruned properly. I've also got over here, and I got my ladder out because I'm probably going to get it done today. I've got a Orient pear, and this guy has struggled mightily the last couple years. I've got him trained pretty well now. You can't see because it's a jungle down here. All my peach trees are just in the way, but I've got an Orient pear tree back there as you can see i know it's not the best camera work, guys but it's all i can show you for now and we're gonna prune him today and we'll get him set up for hopefully to flower and fruit next year as well well there you have it everyone that's the update on my pear trees grown from seed 24 months or two years old pretty much this weekend if you're enjoying the series please give it a thumbs up and as always everyone thanks for watching and happy gardening